Thousands of local artworks today began to brighten up television screens for most days of the year. A world first agreement between Parliament TV and the Urban Art Foundation means collections will be shown on the channel when the House isn't sitting. Sam Ollie explains. <laughs> It's the ultimate venue for political theatre. You've got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. <laughs> the average age of this 52nd parliament is 49 years old. OK, Boomer. The debating chamber has been broadcast on TV since the 80s, but now when parliament isn't sitting, it'll make way for works of art. We're talking over those 275 days, six and a half thousand hours of programme time. Instead of politicians, New Zealand artworks from public galleries and museums will be on screen, including works of the late great Colin McCann, to more recent pieces from Dame Robin White and artists like Dick Frizzell. And then we have all the famous names, but more importantly, we also have the upcoming artists. One of the artist contributors, Derek Cowie, is a big fan. Where there's this boring, endless hours of Parliament scrolling the minutes of the day and what's coming to fill that space with art, whether you like it or not, is a completely different matter. So even if you never make it to a public gallery like the City Art Gallery here in Wellington, this way the art can come to you. What we see on gallery walls is also only a fraction of what's held in storage, but now much more will be revealed. This TV channel takeover, Kite Marama, bringing the archives into the light. Sam Ollie, One News.